In today's video, we will discuss control valve installation. The video is very helpful for instrumentation technicians and engineers. So, don't skip and watch the video completely. Control valve is installed in a pipeline. You can see a control valve was shown installed in a pipeline. Control valve is installed in a pipeline. And, then, it controls various parameters, like, temperature, pressure, level, flow etc. Now, we will discuss, how to choose a control valve, for a pipeline. Control valve size, is kept same, as the size of pipeline. Suppose, if the pipeline size is 4 inches, then control valve size will also 4 inches. The control valve, shown in the image, has same size as the line size. Now, let me explain you, inputs and outputs of a control valve. You can see, an arrow on the control valve, its direction is from left to right. Its input is at the starting point of arrow, means, at left side. Its output is at the end point of arrow, means, at right side. So, it is very easy to understand, the input, and, output, of any control valve, control valve direction is from input to output. Let's discuss, instrumentation work required, for control valve installation. First of all, air tubing is done, mainly, three types of air tubings are used, for a pneumatic control valve. We will discuss these, one by one. The first type of tubing is, SS tubing. SS means, stainless steel, this tubing is shown by the arrow, and, hand arrow. The second type of tubing is, brass tubing. In the image, brass tubing is shown by the hand arrow. And, the third type of tubing is, pneumatic tubing. It is shown by the arrow. Note that, some ferrules, and, fittings, are used, for air tubing, of a pneumatic control valve. In the images, SS ferrules, and, fittings, are shown. Also, various parts of fitting, and, ferrule are shown. In these images, brass ferrules, and, fittings, are shown. One more, important point to note, is, similar ferrules, are used, for both sides of connector. We will use, ferrules at right hand side, similar to, left hand side ferrules. For pneumatic tubing, pneumatic pipes, and, push fittings are used. These are shown, in the images. Now, we will discuss, signal wire connections for a control valve. Control valve was operated by, pneumatic signal, or, air signal. But, control valve actuator is operated by electrical signal, and, this signal is usually, 4 to 20 mA signal. Control valve actuators are pneumatic actuator, and, electro-pneumatic actuator. In the right side image, electro pneumatic actuator is shown, and in the left side image, pneumatic actuator is shown. Remember one point pneumatic actuator is always used with I to P converter. Let me explain you air tubing connections for a pneumatic control valve. We will discuss tubing connections for electro pneumatic positioner and pneumatic positioner. First, I will explain you, air tubing connections, for electro pneumatic positioner. Tubing connections are very easy for this positioner. This positioner, has only two ports, for air connections. Its input is, connected with supply air. 4 to 20 mA signal, is provided here, as shown, in the image. And, its output, is connected with control valve. Now, I will explain you, air tubing connections for pneumatic positioner.
I2P converter is used to control the pneumatic positioner. Air supply for I2P converter is shown in the image by the arrow. Electrical signal means 4 to 20 milliampere signal is feed here. We use two wires for connections. One is connected at positive terminal and one is connected at negative terminal. In the circle, three pressure gauges are shown. One gauge is for air supply. Usually, instrument is written on one gauge. I2P converter output is connected at this port. One gauge is for control valve air or output air. This port is connected at control valve. 2 AFR means air filter regulators are used. 1 AFR is used for I2P converter supply. I2P converter supply is kept approximately 1.5 kg per square centimeters. Now let's see, second AFR, second AFR, is, used for, pneumatic positioner supply. You can better understand, pneumatic, or, air connections, by this image, supply air is, provided to, air filter regulators, for I2P converter, and, pneumatic positioner. 1.5 kg per square centimeters is set on I2P converter AFR, when 4 to 20 milliampere signal is feed to I2P converter, it gives output to pneumatic positioner. Then control valve is operated according to the signal. When we take a control valve in line, then isolation valves positions will be as shown in the image. The bypass isolation valve is kept in close position. The isolation valves before and after the control valve should be in open position. A bypass line is also provided with control valve. Sometimes we need to repair the control valve, so bypass line is provided. When we take bypass line in line, we will open bypass valve and both isolation valves before and after the control valve are closed. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends.